Pero Gómez. The WBC featherweight champion of the world. He fights out of Santiago Tiempestando, Mexico. He weighs 126 pounds. Here is the very popular Salvador Sanchez. 15 rounds of boxing. Carlos Padilla, who has called many a championship Three, fight here. Seconds. We listen to what he has to say. Chip seconds. Chip seconds. Chip seconds. Who is the chip seconds? Manager. Principal. A bit of confusion over who the chief seconds are for Carlos Padilla. He wants to know exactly who the official and uh, top man in each corner is. Who is the chip seconds? Chip seconds. Yeah. Call, call, call the chip seconds. Chip seconds. charge in that corner in case for any reason they were going to stop it although the corner really can't stop a championship fight can it the corner cannot stop a championship fight but they have changed the rules for this one <laughs> they're definitely not changing the rules larry that's for sure well he's asking for the chief seconds i don't know why uh... he wants to know who's in control of the corners for sure in case he okay may want to take something off the face or whatever let's get Avoid using any kind well, of Well, maybe again, they might have a little bit too many people in the okay. corner and they want to be able to control the what corner. So uh, he what want to find out who's the chief what second is? so he can get the people going to be long in the corner out of there. Uh, Carlos Padilla is showing that he's going to be the boss of this one because the spirits are extremely high. The WBC World Featherweight Championship, the Battle of the Little Giants, is just about to begin. You're looking at Salvador Sanchez. He'll be taking on Wilfredo Gomez. Here we go. And it's exciting. Sanchez in the blue trunks and Gomez in the red, white, and blue. One thing I like to say, a lot of people don't think uh, Gomez can do any boxing, but I see Gomez boxing. This is what he's coming out doing now. So he can box in the punch, and it's, it's going to be a very interesting fight. Right. He's a very, very clever boxer, too, besides the fact that he can really punch. Again, we repeat the record of Wilfredo Gomez. 32 professional fights, 32 knockouts. Very first one, he did have a draw of 30, 32 0 and 1 is his actual record. 32 knockouts. What makes this fight so interesting is both of these fighters have been there. They both have the champions for a number of fights, and uh, they both represented their country. This is what makes this fight so interesting. Another fact that we point out, don't forget that Gomez is the former world super bantamweight champion. He gave up that title because of making the weight to move up to this weight classification.
He can't move. He has no balance in his leg. The red man can't just get peeing off that red man. He's holding on. The red man still got that red man to be holding on. The red man trying to get his head clear. There's even a whole lot of this guy. He might be able to survive it. But I don't see no way that red man can survive this. Survive the round. It's a miracle, Larry, that he gets through that round. A miracle he gets through the round. It's a miracle to get through the round. It'll be a miracle for Gomez to come back this round. We got to see how much that, that round took out of Gomez. Again, his score is working very hard on it, but I don't see any chance for Gomez. So that's just ready, he's confident, and he's going to go out there and try to take him out. Carlos Salamino, I know you're shocked by that first round. I, I am. I didn't expect uh, Sal Sanchez to, to, to have that kind of power, but he hurt him with a left hook right there, I think it was the beginning of it. And then I uh, came back with that one and hurt him bad. It was actually the right hand that cut him first, and then a little left. Yeah, it was the upper. Again, that left hook looked like it didn't hurt him. It was kind of an upper, uppercut left hook. And, uh, oh, really surprising. And the ball was definitely hurt. It still, it still hurt. It still, it still very sick. And uh, guy up. Sanchez is absolutely fresh, and Gomez is still kind of staggering and, and glassy-eyed. Yeah, well, Sanchez is, is very cool, too. Is, uh, Gomez is trying to put all the power into the punching mound. But he's making a mistake by throwing his punches with Sanchez. Because he's an entrepreneur yet. That's right. That's a very good point, man. It looks pretty good on his leg, but again, he's not clear yet. You can see it in his eyes. Sanchez looks very good. He looks confident. It looks like he's trying to take a shot, but go match the punch. Go match taking two punches to the body, but Sanchez is throwing three or four punches at a time. Take the guy high for go back to, to get in there. Go back to the little slow, but he's very confident. See now, Larry, that Gomez's eyes are starting to get a little bit before this point, it's starting to come back a bit. Yes, it is. If Sanchez's not really doing anything, he's just bouncing on his toes. Which if I was Sanchez, I'd have kept using the jab, trying to put him up to the right hand. He did go back to the left again. Sanchez is going to go to the left and let go back to get in there. I think he made a, a, you know, he did a lot to come back. I think uh, trying, and uh, I think he's making a mistake by trying to, to get inside and try punches with the uh, He's not clear-headed, but uh, he did well. He got in there and he uh, tried to come back. Just, that was a close round. I would, I would call it an even round. Here we are. There's Gomez again putting the pressure on. I think he gets tagged in the middle of this flurry again. Oh, Gomez gets through with a good left. There's the right hand that's gonna shook him up again. Sanchez takes good punches, 
And he knows I change the expression every time, every time he get hit. Well, a surprisingly fast start to uh, something we didn't expect here. We're coming up to round number three. Salvador Sanchez had Rofredo Gomez on the campus in round one. Surprising us all, and it took all the courage and, and guts that Gomez had to get through round one, and we're up to round three now. What I think Gomez should do is fight Sanchez. I thought of Michael. Sanchez is a much better boxer than Gomez. Right. We've seen that's what got him in trouble the first time, trying to box him. But so Gomez should stay there and try to get inside and put the pressure on him and uh, wear him down in fire. Fast pace, fight for 15. Now you wonder how they're going to keep it up. And we know that uh, Sanchez can go 15 rounds, but Gomez having went 15 rounds in so long, so that might be the factor in the fight also. that no matter what happens, no change in expression. No change. You just don't even bother. It's like you take a punch. It's just a steel face. No bother at all. He's a, he's a very good boxer. He's moving. He's circling well. And uh, that's what he got to do for 15 rounds. I think they keep it tight. First punch by Sanchez again. I get that punch. I would say, get inside of Sanchez's jaw and work the midsection to try to come up with something else. But again, Sanchez is a good fighter. He's a good fighter. Gomez is off balance that time. It wasn't really a fight. Every time Gomez is trying to pressure Sanchez like that, he's got himself in trouble on it. Yes. Gomez has got Warren for using an elbow inside. Off of Gomez, wait for Gomez to punch and then he's down. So Gomez got to be very careful. Man, it's good enough for me. No, it's good enough for me. I don't think that's just for one of the other names. It's great one for Gomez. You can circle out and get out of there. Give Gomez a chance to find him. It's great one for me. Carlos, the pace has been unbelievable. Uh, that's why right. I can't believe it. This goes 15 this way. It's going to be unbelievable. It's tremendous condition on both athletes. Well, Plato continues to come on. He won't, he won't stay back and catch any uh, breather at all. He keeps coming on. I, I think he'll make the down. He's got the bad punch. Slow down a little more, and he'll start firing his punch with that right hand after the jab. He's shooting the right hand over the head. You two fellas again to help me score that round. That it was kind of, you know, there were the signs with Sanchez looked good, but Gomez got his share of punches in there and was very aggressive in that round. I call it an even round myself. That's right. Because both fighters were scoring punches. Uh, Sanchez was countering and Gomez was then working inside. I feel very, very uh, close round, and I wouldn't want to call that round. Are we showing you that shot that Larry talked about where Gomez looked like he was going down, but it was more of a slip? He's kind of moving towards his left and yeah, just kind of slipped as he was backing right. away. It was more of a slip. He was off balance. Here it is at a different angle now. Same same series. Well, they never stop swinging. That's for sure. Here we go. WBC featherweight championship. Sanchez, the champion in blue. Gomez, the challenger. Former world super bantamweight champ in red, white, and blue. Gomez has a really nasty welt coming up under his right eye. Sanchez gave him a really good beat in that first round. And uh, I still don't see how Gomez survived it and still come back to fight like he's going now. So a lot of ability, a lot of determination. Both 
watching at home can see that Wells coming up and tell us Palomino was talking about on the right eye of Wilfredo Gomez. So far, the eye is not in a bad spot because it's underneath the eye. And as long as it's underneath the eye, uh, the rest will let it go. Wait, I see. He tried to counter over uh, Sanchez getting jab, but Sanchez got a fast jab. And you cannot wait for the counter. You just got to keep going and do your own thing. Pace to slow down just a bit this round. Good, good punch by Sanchez. Perfect right hand, man. Sanchez is a very good boxer. He can keep his hands out. He can stay out of the way from the big punches. He's doing a good job of moving out and staying out of the way of uh, Gomez Powell. The Hawk Punch is one of the, I think, one of the best, uh, terrific guys, terrific boxers. He, he knows what's happening at all times. Well, I got to lean a little bit towards the boxer because I felt I'm a boxer. And uh, Sanchez is doing a good job of boxing. And the Gomez is more than Joe Frazier type coming in, throwing punches. And it's just, if Sanchez keeps his, his movement, his boxing ability going, I think he might be able to pull this fight out. Again, we're in round four. Wilfredo Gomez was down in the first round and barely survived it and has come back since then. Left hand by Sanchez. These guys are trading punches. Go back, he's trying to see you out on him. I don't like him if Sanchez is that corner like that. Because I know that Gomez got a five punch and he, and he hits good. Again, Sanchez is good. Maybe he knows something I don't know about him. Every time he's getting that corner, Sanchez has come out to win him. That's the bell. Ending round number four. Uh, some looks at each other there. A couple of punches after the bell. And, uh, you know, uh, Gomez was doing some tremendous scoring underneath there in that corner. Uh, I saw him throwing some very good body punches. And we go to the corner of Gomez once again. You can see them putting the ice and uh, working on that eye. And he still looks tremendously exhausted to me. Yes, yeah, his punch is still affecting him a little bit. But he's fighting, you know, that's just again a sign of a champion to come out after the first round of knockdown and do all of this. Larry, uh, that's, that's not actually ice. Uh, here's the flurry right after the bell. That round, uh, I give that round myself to Gomez because Sanchez was standing in the corner and uh, for a few seconds Gomez was throwing a lot of punches and, and Sanchez didn't do anything back. So I think uh, uh, Gomez won that round, Bobby. On the aggressiveness, right, yeah. we'll all give it to Gomez, I think. Here we go, round number five. Yeah, the most completely shut now. Time, but... After 
know, Bobby, I think we just got a good fight here. Turned out to be a very, very interesting fight after that first round knockout. Gomez was hurt that round again. Looked like he was ready to go and the belt down. His, his eyes in bad shape, too. Times. Yeah, but Van Cassel getting tagged, but it's not showing hurt. Gomez is showing hurt. That's not a good sign. So the, other, the left eye is showing some, some damages now. It's, it's taking a, some losing punches. I don't see this fight going about a couple more rounds. If Van Cassel come out and start boxing pretty combinations together, I feel that he will stop Gomez. But uh, Gomez again shows you all the determination in the second round. First round, the last round that he's able to stay got there found. The sign of a true champion is one who can get off the canvas and uh, come back and win a fight. And that's uh, going to take all the courage in the world for Wilfredo Gomez. And he's certainly shown us one thing, he has the heart of a champion no matter what happens to him. That's right. That's just he got hit with punches right there. Man. Right there, and uh, he shows a little sign. Maybe Gomez is starting to hurt a little bit now. But we know that every time Sanchez lands the punch on Gomez, he's hurting because Gomez is cut under the eye. Both eyes are starting to bump up, and uh, Gomez is going to be like he's in trouble. He shows you that he's a man, he's a champion, and uh, 
he's willing to give up his title to come up and wait for that to show the people around the world that he's the champion. So he has nothing to stand here because he's doing a heck of a job, and I don't count this man out yet because he's got a lot going for himself. His right hand there again by Joe Bay. That's just a start to miss. Seems like the rounds are faster than three minutes to us because there's so much action in them. That's right. I'm excited, Bob. I'm <laughs> glad I'm here to be able to watch it as close as I'm watching it and to be able to call it around the world and to let the people know throughout the world that we're watching two great gladiators and Sanchez and Gomez and it's the chance that one of these fighters have to lose. That's right. These two guys are tremendous athletes and I see there's a... You know, Gomez is going to have a lot of problems because these both guys are beginning to really close now. He's going to have problems seeing uh, both these guys. Right, you can see what's going on in the corner there. It's just a question of in between every round. Look at the face of Gomez. He's really, really taking a lot of punishment to the face. Yeah, I've never seen Gomez buffed up like this in any day of the fight. Sancho is very cool. He's very calm and collected. And Sanchez that time. Sanchez worked downstairs for the first time and uh, taking a little bit of that wind out of Gomez. That's the first time Gomez has been on the ropes like this. This is the first round. Gomez's legs are still rubbery. He's very well, but very rubbery. Even when Sanchez throw a punch, he don't make a, uh, he don't even change. I mean, Sanchez throw a punch, he don't even change the expression. But when he takes one, he don't change the expression. All business. All business. Yes, this will be a, a great surprise for his new son or, or daughter, 
whatever, to go back and win this title. And I'm sure when the son grows up or daughter grows up, they will really have something to talk about. Yeah, that would be some... Watch this exchange now. There we are. Some great punching going on. See that uh, crisp right hand, though? Uh, Gomez scored a couple of punches, but with Sanchez, it really had the power behind it. Right. It, whenever Sanchez lands, Gomez usually takes a step backwards, and he feels it. Well, as you look at both corners, you can see just in the uh, facial expression of the two of them which man is out in front of the fight. But again, we can't say enough for Wilfredo Gomez for his staying power and the courage that he's had throughout this fight. He's very rubbery legged. He's very shaky. Okay. Sanchez is on target. Go fast. Look like he's heading to a war. He's still fighting hard. He's still fighting hard. Gomez wants to try to go for broke because he knows his eyes are swollen up on him and he wants to stand just in the corner so he can shoot all he got. Gomez is trying to counter over the, uh, the jab of Sanchez and it's, it's something to see because Gomez's eyes are closed and he's trying to, trying to counter a, a right hand over the jab. That's right. He's, he's really have to, has to concentrate right now to see that his eyes are too little slits. But he's trying. I know he wants to get the big one in to get out of there. Gomez got hit with a, a right on the counter that time. Three straight left hooks to the body by Sanchez. Three good left hooks to the body and Gomez didn't try to do anything about it. So right. that just shows you again, he got confidence. It is a very, very good fight. Tough fight tonight here at TV. The pace that you folks are seeing right now, it's been like this from the opening bell. That's why right. I tell the fans are getting their money's worth this one. Again, they're taking further steps. Gomez is on the rope. He's set on in the nose again. He's hurt. He's hurt. Gomez is hurt. Get him spun around, get him spun around and spin yourself around. 